Iteration 1. Storing passwords in clear text should be avoided whenever possible. Ideally, passwords should always be stored in a secure format that prevents an attacker from easily reusing them, so even unsalted hashes might not be enough. Storing passwords in clear text. This means saving passwords exactly as they are typed by the user without any form of protection. For instance, if your password is mysecret123, storing it in clear text would literally save the string mysecret123 in a file or database. Why avoid clear text storage? The key risk is that if an attacker gains access to a file, system logs, or database that stores clear text credentials, they can immediately use those passwords without needing to crack or guess them. Secure format, using a format that makes it hard for an attacker to reuse passwords. This usually involves hashing, a one-way function, plus salting, adding a unique random value to each password before hashing, or even stronger forms of encryption when necessary. Even unsalted hashes might not be enough. If you only hash passwords without salting, attackers could quickly match hash results through rainbow tables, for example. Salting helps ensure that each user's password hash is unique, making it much more difficult to conduct bulk attacks. Iteration 2. As mentioned before, implementing multi-factor authentication can help with keeping passwords from being reused, but some solutions do not readily support MFA. Multi-factor authentication, MFA. MFA is an additional layer of security where a user must provide more than one form of verification to gain access. This could include something you know, password, something you have, a token or mobile device, or something you are, a biometrics. Role in password reuse prevention. Even if an attacker somehow obtains a password, MFA makes it significantly harder to use that password alone to access an account. Essentially, it reduces the risk of an authorized access because the attacker would also need the additional factors. Limitations. Although MFA is highly beneficial, not all systems or solutions support it. This means that while MFA can help mitigate password reuse risks, its benefits depend on the implementation in a particular service or application. Iteration 3. For these reasons, it is always recommended to store passwords in an encrypted format. In cases where credentials are being stored for a particular service, a password manager or similar solution can be used as they commonly implement encrypted databases to store passwords. Detailed explanation. Recommendation to encrypt. Passwords should always be stored in an encrypted format. This means transforming the password into a secure, unreadable form that can only be reverted with the correct key or by using one-way functions that are computationally difficult to reverse. Using password managers. The use of password managers or similar solutions when storing credentials for specific services. These tools typically employ encrypted databases to manage passwords, making it more challenging for attackers to access them even if they breach the system. Practical implications. By adopting encrypted storage and utilizing password managers, organizations and individuals can significantly reduce the risk of password theft and misuse. This approach ensures that even if an attacker accesses the storage, the encrypted passwords remain protected.